Well, despite its economic slowdown, China is still the world's most competitive manufacturing country. That's according to the 2013 Global Manufacturing Competitiveness Index by Deloitte & Touche and the U.S. Council on Competitiveness. The survey is based on responses from senior manufacturing executives from around the world. Now, China is expected to hold that top spot for at least the next five years. And for more on China's manufacturing prowess, we're joined by Mamta Badkar, senior reporter on emerging markets at Business Insider. Mamta, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So in that index, China holds the top spot. What do you think makes China such a competitive manufacturing country? Well, first of all, China's got a massive um, labor, right? They, they, I mean, it's, it's the most populous country in the world. So they have labor, but labor costs are going up. So that's something to, to worry about for the moment. The other thing China's doing right is they're moving from low-tech manufacturing to high-tech manufacturing. Um, China is great in terms of infrastructure. If you look at other economies in Asia, for instance, manufacturers might not necessarily want to go there because infrastructure isn't always great. So China's got many competitive advantages in terms of manufacturing. The ranking has Germany in second place, right behind China. And the reason that is cited is because of innovation and talent. Now, China has suffered for a while from the stigma of imitation over innovation. Right. But it's shifting that perception. What is happening on the ground to show that China is becoming more innovative and more high tech as opposed to low tech? Well, the, the thing we need to remember is China has, China's population, for instance, they, they, they emphasize math, they emphasize science. We've seen Chinese students come study in America, study in developed countries, go back. Um, China's beginning to support innovation, support entrepreneurs. If you look at biotech companies like BGI Shenzhen, they're going up against companies like Illumina. So China's making steps in the right direction. Well, what's interesting is the Deloitte and Touche and the U.S. Council on Competitiveness Survey also did a projection for the next five years. And in that, China is still number one, but they have India moving up to second place. How would you compare the competitiveness in terms of manufacturing between China and India? What, what is each country's respective strengths and weaknesses? Right. Now, if we were to look at the most recent PMI indexes that came out, right, and I'm talking about HSBC PMI, um, India's contracting while China's manufacturing, uh, sorry, China's uh, expanding. Um, China has, has, you know, like we talked about already, benefits from its labor, skilled labor, benefits from relatively cheap labor too. India, on the other hand, um, they have this, this massive labor pool available to them, but in terms of infrastructure, they're languishing. Um, manufacturers are worried about protectionism in India. So, but, but India is trying to work on all of this. They, they're trying to, they're, trying, they're, they're actually um, in talks with the U.S. to cut back on protectionism so that more manufacturing, manufacturers will be willing to go to India. So you, you see India catching up to China anytime soon? In the next five years, I don't think so. Well, they are ranked fourth with China still number one in the next five years, at least according to Deloitte well, and Touche. fingers crossed. <laughs> well, China, as we've said, has been shifting from an export-driven economy to a more consumer-driven economy, a more domestic demand-based structure. So what impact is that having on the manufacturing sector? Um, well, that, again, I mean, in, in terms of that, China should be trying to move away from exports and investment to consumption. I, I don't think you can afford to be the world's biggest economy and rely, for instance, on low-tech manufacturing. You do, need to, you do need to move to high-tech manufacturing. When you do that, you send um, workers home with more money. That can only be good for the economy. So if China's picking up more of the high-tech work, who's picking up the slack on the low-tech uh, in the, terms of the global right, picture? That's, that's going, a lot of that is going to Vietnam. Uh, a lot of that is going to other Southeast Asian countries. But what we're seeing a lot of manufacturers do is something called China Plus One, which is where they'll still have their base in China, but they'll set up one plant in Vietnam or one plant in Thailand to kind of see if they have the infrastructure in place to support their businesses. Well, there have been some shifts in China with regards to higher labor costs, with regards to more emphasis on the environment and the other challenges. What are the big challenges to China's manufacturing sector? Uh, like you said, rising labor costs. That's, that's well, What a, impact that's, will that have then? 
Um, there is always the concern that you know manufacturing could could move away, and it isn't even just in terms of that. If you look at the U.S., um, they've had 3D printing. They have uh, mm. advancements in terms of artificial intelligence and, and robotics, and there's there's a, a significant and pretty valid concern that manufacturing might start moving back to the U.S. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you We're for having me. We're going to have to leave me. it there. Mamta Bhatkar, reporter at Business Insider.